Hello everyone and welcome back to the war on Sunday as we begin our Richard campaign. And of course, don't forget to stick around until the end for our next community spotlight. This is a really short one going just for Arces and Jaffa, but it should be interesting. I, I can see these being some pretty tricky battles. Either way, let's learn our history then. Richard the Lionhearted, or Quer de Lyon, is one of the greatest warrior kings of English history. Although he spent only six months in England during his ten years on the throne, and even that was just to squeeze more money out of the country, the rest of the time he was doing what he enjoyed and did best, soldiering. Richard's fame as a warrior was well earned, as he was personally brave, a formidable strategist, a master castle builder, and seen as the embodiment of chivalry. His skills eventually gave him command of the Third Crusade, and while he failed to take Jerusalem, it was not for want of trying. His battles were conducted with a good deal of military skill and political savvy, as he alternated attacks on the Saracens and negotiations with Saladin. Richard came to an appropriate soldier's end after his crusading days. He died after being shot by a crossbowman while besieging a rebellious vassal in France. Despite his personal wish that the crossbowman should not be harmed for carrying out his duty, once Richard was safely dead, his lieutenants captured and flayed Richard's killer in revenge. That got dark very quickly. Well then, shall we go ahead and start off Arsuf 1191. So taking a look at our battle, we are King Richard against Sultan Saladin, and we have some pretty weak forces on the second set, but the first set is really good. We've got feudal knights that are going to do really well, got only archers, not longbowmen unfortunately. Billmen, feudal sergeants, hospitalier. I've just realised that doesn't actually say his hospitalier, does it? It says hospitaler. Hospitaler Foot Knights and Royal Knights. Though interestingly, no crossbows. Strange, they were quite a large part of the Crusades. Either way, the Frankish kingdoms in the Holy Land had met with mixed fortunes before the arrival of reinforcements in the shape of the Third Crusade. Before Richard Coeur de Lyon and Philip II Augustus of France arrived, the Crusaders had been too weak to be much of a threat to Saladin. But with help from these European monarchs, they managed to break into Acre and take it from the Saracens. In September 1191, after a year of frustration and unhappiness with their further progress, the Crusaders moved south from Acre, making for the town of Jaffa, outside the small settlement of Arsus. There, they met a Saracen army in the open. Richard's tactical sense proved to be the decisive factor, and his victory at Arsuf restored the morale of the Third Crusade, as it proved that the Saracens were not invincible, even with the example of Saladin to inspire them. For our conditions, Saladin and his troops are harassing Richard's troops who are marching towards Arsuf. You must repel the attack and drive them from the battlefield, Richard must survive. Well then, no special conditions. Game on. Right, so we are on the march and they've come right behind us. Perfect. Right, Stelia, get in there. In fact, against the throwers, they're going to get wrecked in a single hit, so we want our cavalry in. Archers. Other cavalry. God, there's a lot of them. Right. We don't want this cab getting too set in because we want to flank with them. How are the Billmen doing? Billmen are out. They've turned. They've run. General, get in there. Fanatics, do your job. Be fanatic. Oh, looks like they're out as well. All of our units have turned tail. Let's go hit the peasants, try and get rid of them. And Richard has run off on his own, tanking the Lord. <laughs> Get in there. Just to get the fanatics in. You stop running because you're just going to run forever in a day and you're not actually going to get anything done. And those bill men go help out. Right, it looks like a lot of the enemy is breaking, but our 
glorious leader is off on his own still. That's dangerous. The portrait of a royal milk song. Enemy king the is enemy fleeing. King yes, flees. that's very, very good. Ooh, perfect. Managed to break them all. That was easier than I thought it would be, but very cheeky. I'm actually worried that Richard on his own would just get sniped. But we did it. Marvellous. Well then, an eventful start. A two-minute battle against the Sultan of Saladin. Watch the next one be ridiculous. We only killed less than 400. That's kind of impressive. Either way though, let us prepare for our next battle for Richard the Lionheart. Tid, even. But if you're wanting to check out somewhere with no chance of mispronunciation, then why not have a look at Iceni Total War? This YouTuber has gone about completing multiple campaigns for the Total War franchise, including multiple mods within them. From Rome 1 to 2, they have showcased some of the best in the Total War franchise, and are currently still engaging in multiple campaigns and releasing each of these videos within the same day. Now what's great about all this variety is it really does let you see just what is available for each of these games, including some of those overhaul mods such as the Call of Warhammer for Medieval 2, giving you a taste of the old world long before the franchise ever officially went there, as well as one that I would love to see introduced to the full franchise in the form of the Elder Scrolls mod. And though once more there playing multiple campaigns within this mod, I do have to say that the Argonians definitely take my interest most. But most importantly, they're just playing a game and enjoying themselves. Something that for some reason has become less and less frequent within a lot of online content creators these days. So grab a cup of coffee, make yourself comfortable and just enjoy. So if you're wanting to see the true best of British, why not check out Iceni Total War? And if you do, don't forget to tell them Bear sent you. And as always, peace out.